Welcome to BTU, the Brandenburg University of Technology of Cottbus Zemptenburg. In this film series, we will show you our city, our university, our diverse laboratory facilities, such as the microgrid and the future BTU Smart Campus, and of course, what you can study here under the Energy Technology Specialization. By the way, this building is our IKMZ, our flagship, but more about that later. Coming from abroad, you can reach Cottbus via the new Berlin-Brandenburg International Airport, which is located south of Berlin. From the airport, you can take the regional express train to Cottbus in about an hour. At the newly redesigned main station in Cottbus, you will find the central transfer stations for buses and cabs with which the city centre and the BTU central campus can be reached in a few minutes. You can also walk this route via the north exit at the station in a good 15 minutes. Cottbus is a city of about 100,000 inhabitants in Brandenburg, located about halfway between Berlin and Dresden. From its 900-year history, there is a well-preserved historic old town. Around the Altmarkt, you will find many nice restaurants and quaint pubs that liven up the city centre in the evenings and on weekends. Cottbus also has many parks close to the city centre along the River Spree, up to Branitz Castle and the Zoo. Within a 200 kilometer radius of Cottbus, you can visit Berlin, Potsdam, Dresden, Leipzig, and Breslau in Poland. Here, you can discover the historical city centers, worthwhile just to see, and their large cultural scene on offer with versatile possibilities for shopping. With your semester ticket, you can reach the destination of your day trip within one or two hours by train, and at most times it's free of charge. Then, away from the hustle and bustle of the city, Use your free time to visit the vast scenic Spreewald, a world heritage site about 20 kilometers west of Cottbus, which offers everything of nature and the outdoors to rest your soul. The central campus of Brandenburg University of Technology cottbus Semptenburg is located directly adjacent to the Old Town and is home of the Mathematical and Natural Science Departments, Energy and Electrical Engineering, Mechanical Engineering, Architecture and Civil Engineering, and Environmental and Process Engineering. Most of the teaching and laboratory buildings have either been newly built or completely renovated in the last 25 years. Thus, state-of-the-art facilities are available for research and teaching. The new Information, Communication and Media Centre also accommodates researchers and students with broad media access. Expansive open green spaces have created a largely car-free campus university. The refectory has a main cafeteria and the Brasserie Café and offers a selection for breakfast and dinner in addition to the five dishes prepared daily for lunch. The dormitories are directly adjacent to this main campus and offer single apartments, each equipped with a kitchenette and separate bathroom with a shower, basin and toilet. In the past 20 years, many large and powerful laboratory facilities have been developed at BTU. For example, the High Voltage Hall is a 30 by 24 by 16 meter space, able to generate voltages of up to nearly 2 million volts in one of the largest of its kind at German universities. Incidentally, our climate chamber installed within this is also one of the largest at German universities. 
Temperatures are reached in Celsius from negative 50 to 80 degrees during many of the industrial performance tests. In neighboring smaller high voltage laboratories, various student practicals are carried out. The power system simulator can be used to study highly dynamic processes in the grid integration of renewable energies. Students are trained using it in the master's program in power system operation. In the field of electromagnetic compatibility, BTU has various laboratories in which the interactions between electromagnetic fields and the electronic or digital systems are studied. Here too, practical courses are held to accompany the corresponding lectures. We also have large laboratories in the field of electrical machines, drive systems and power electronics, which are used for research projects, such as from the field of hybrid electric driving or flying, and of course for student internships. In the field of thermal energy technology, BTU has a large experimental hall with combustion technology systems in which various power plant topics are simulated. For example, the production of hydrogen from regenerative surpluses is also studied in a special laboratory at BTU. An essential research area of BTU energy technology deals with the grid integration of renewable energies and electromobility. There is a research facility with 120 kilowatts of solar power that was built, which feeds its regeneratively generated electricity into BTU's own medium and low voltage grid. Regenerative surpluses are not currently used in our microgrid, but can be buffered in a large battery. However, the surplus energy can also be converted into heat and stored via a power to heat system. We use the energy from this storage for the building heating in winter or cooling the buildings in summer via a power to cool system. As a third option for the use of regenerative surpluses, 15 charging stations are available with which electric vehicles of BTU employees or test vehicles can be charged in a grid serving manner. Since the regenerative generation of electricity from solar power does not enable a reliable and stable energy supply, a gas-powered reactive mini-CHP was also set up in the microgrid, from which 40 kilowatts of electricity and 80 kilowatts of thermal energy can be extracted. Built at the heart of the microgrid is a measuring and control room in which all functions are monitored and switched remotely. In order to operate the microgrid and also be able to research new operating strategies for microgrids and projects, a commercial control system from Siemens was expanded in such a way that all functionalities of the control system are now open and can be adapted according to the respective research topic. The control system is so powerful that it can form the core of a BTU control center for the future BTU smart campus. On this BTU Smart Campus, all reasonably operational roofs, facades and open spaces would then be equipped with solar power modules and a regenerative power generation would be realised that is on the order of magnitude of the campus's power consumption. Since generation from solar power systems and electricity consumption are never synchronised in time, different storage technologies and sector coupling systems will be required. A combined heat and power plant is also needed to generate electricity during periods of low solar radiation. Possible regenerative surpluses can be converted into hydrogen mobility via an electrolysis plant or into electromobility via a grid serving charge, on par with the option of using the vehicle batteries for storage in the power grid. Initiated by the structural change in Lausitz, several federally funded large-scale research institutes are located directly at the BTU Central Campus. These include the Fraunhofer Institute for Energy Infrastructures and Geothermal Energy, the DLR Institute for Low Carbon Industrial Processes, 
and the DLR Institute for Research in Low Emission Aviation Propulsion Systems. Most of these institutes are integrated into the research and teaching of BTU Energy Technology and thus offer students further opportunities to choose from highly application oriented topics for bachelor's or master's theses. Of course, the labs and experimental facilities just shown will also be incorporated into our energy engineering degree programs at BTU. You can study the new Bachelor or Master in Energy Technology and Energy Economics, as well as the International Master in Power Engineering. These study programs are structured as follows. The Bachelor of Science in Energy Technology and Energy Management has a standard duration of six semesters. In the first three semesters, you will be taught the basics of mathematics, computer science, technology and economics, making up a good third of the course. Additionally, you choose one of these fields of study, electrical power engineering, thermal power engineering, or energy economics, whose compulsory modules also make up one third of your studies. In the fifth and sixth semesters, in addition to the bachelor thesis, there are also four elective modules in which you can further deepen your knowledge according to your own interests. For a possible career entry directly after a bachelor's degree, we recommend a wise selection of these options. The Master of Science in Energy Technology and Energy Economics has a standard period of study of four semesters. For the three semesters of lectures, you are offered a large number of modules to choose from, mostly in German. If you utilize the maximum possible freedom of choice, you will finish your studies with a specialization in general energy technology and energy economics. In order to complete the study program with a more specialized orientation towards a later professional field, you are recommended to choose from five possible combinations of subjects. In addition to energy economics, these are electrical and thermal energy technology, energy process technology and control, and automation in energy technology. You can use the entire fourth semester in a company for your internship and your master's thesis. The Master of Science in Power Engineering also has a standard duration of four semesters, and this is offered entirely in English. With electric power engineering and power generation from renewable and fossil fuels, you are offered two fields of study in which you can choose between numerous modules. The program currently offers double degrees with seven partner universities, which allow you to study abroad for two semesters in a predetermined and simple manner. The master's thesis is then comprised of a full semester and can thus be carried out in industry. In the Master Power Engineering program, you have the opportunity to obtain a dual degree with multiple universities all over the world. This means that you can study at BTU and another university and finish your studies with two degrees. With the Technical University of Breslau in Poland, located only 200 kilometers east of Cottbus, there is a highly similar offer for this degree possibility. A more distant offer for a dual degree is from the Moscow Energy Institute or the Polytechnic University in St. Petersburg. Both belong to the notably high-performing group of 19 Russian national research universities. In China, you can also earn a dual degree at the North China Electric Power University in Beijing, one of the 100 key universities in China. In Shanghai, you can also earn a dual degree at the University of Shanghai for Science and Technology in the center of the vibrant mega city, or at the Shanghai University for Electric Power on a completely new campus in Shanghai Pudong. And if you'd like to go to the island, study at the National Cheng Kung University in Tainan in southern Taiwan to get your dual degree.
After completing your master's degree, we offer you the opportunity to either earn a national doctorate in engineering in your own research topic from the energy sector, or to enroll in a four-year international PhD power engineering. The PhD program also offers you a dual degree, and thus the chance as a PhD student to spend half of your research topic abroad. Currently, such a dual degree is endorsed by the Moscow Power Engineering Institute and preparations for such a dual degree with the St. Petersburg Polytechnic University are already underway.